All right. Did that performance at Duke last year piss you off, and uh, is that going to have something to do with what transpired Saturday? Um, I definitely feel, though, as the team uh, was upset that we lost. Every, every team is upset. You lose a game. Um, you know, the goal at the end of the day is to go 1-0. and Like Fitz preaches to us, you know, just prepare every day as hard as you can for as long as you can. And I feel like that's the, the theme of this team, to be consistent and to don't not be satisfied if you have a good day one day, make that next day a better day. So, yeah, um, you know, that loss is in the back of our minds, but does it change how consistently we want to prepare every day? No. Yeah. No, just to echo what Jordan said, I mean, we went down there a year ago and didn't play very well. Um, I think, like you said, that's in the back of our mind as we're preparing and getting ready for this game. I mean, it's something something that uh, we we, th we think about. Um, and now it's just going down and putting our preparation to work uh, on Saturday in Ryan Field. <laughs> quarterback Steven Johnson some people saying he's going to be a first round draft pick what do you see um I see a big strong guy um good quarterback uh yeah <laughs> that's what I see yeah. yeah yeah he's a he's a big big physical guy can throw the ball can run the ball uh he's not really afraid to take a hit he doesn't really slide when he's running the ball um so yeah what we've seen on tape he's a he's a good quarterback Uh, Blake, you're entering a pretty good linebacking group yeah. uh, as a starter with Nate and Patty. You had a pretty good individual game uh, last week against Purdue, I'd say. What is it about those guys that sets you up for success? Um, it's it's pretty uh, it's pretty cool playing the playing next to the the two guys that are uh, you know some of the best to do it right now in in college football. You look at Nate and Patty; they're some of the best linebackers in college football. Um, so being out there next to them is is just uh, it's cool. It's it's exciting. Um, it's something they kind of, when I'm out there trying to like think about things and sometimes overthinking things, they're there to put me in the right place and uh, make sure we're making all we're all making plays. So it's pretty cool. Like just sort of following up on that, did, yeah. did Patty get a different kind of attention last Thursday than he did last year? As wh what do you? Attention from the offensive line. From oh well, yeah. I think you look at look at the season Patty had last year, and I think uh, teams are going to be game planning for him a little more right. this year because he's such a dominant dominant player. So uh, I think yeah, when you when you watch him on tape and see his physicality and how he plays the game, um, they're going to do certain things uh, to try to get him blocked, to attempt to block him. And does that give you more freedom or less attention or let you roam freer? Um, I don't know. I just try to go out and, and, and play my game and read what I need to read and make the adjustments I need to make and just go play. Jordan, back when you were Jeremy's teammate in Cincinnati, yeah, could you see the future that what he is now? Um, not necessarily at Northwestern, but I definitely saw him being a very good um, college running back. Um, our history together um, is awesome, and to have him, you know, th this final year and just in general, from high school to college is is amazing. You know, he's one of my best friends, and you know, it's it's great. Did you used to go against him in practice? Yeah, all the time. What we, was that like? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, intense, very intense. Um, you you know, if you ask him the same question, he'll probably try to tell you a story of him running me over, which never happened. Um, if you ask me, I could tell you a story where I beat him in a race. Um, <laughs> so, you Did know. Did that happen? Uh, I mean, if you're asking me, yes, but, you know, him, other things. But, uh, yeah, very intense, and, you know, he's a great person to get better with and just a tremendous friend.
Jordan, looking at Duke, this is a team that really tried to run the ball on you guys last year, carried it 59 times. Uh, <laughs> you guys are losing, obviously, this year. So already have lost a pretty good run stopper in, in Tyler Lancaster. How do you have to step up to fill that gap against a team that wants to run the ball? Yeah, most definitely. Um, first off, I miss Laney. Um, we were roommates <laughs> last year. And uh, just having his presence all the time gone, uh, I really feel that. Um, but looking at football-wise, it's just an opportunity for uh, other guys to step up in more of a leadership role, you know, playing more reps, taking more uh, snaps. Uh, as for me, you know, I just have to be more consistent um, whether I'm playing – uh, three or two or whatever. I just have to be more consistent. So um, him leaving has really pushed me to, you know, try to carry, carry some more weight on my back. A couple other uh, Larkin questions, if you don't mind. So, like, is the name Barry Larkin st if, for <laughs> dudes your age? <laughs> Does that carry a lot of weight into today? Um, it, it depends who you ask. Um. Cause I, they're like cousins or something like that. Um, it's definitely a nice breaker. He's definitely talked to like random people. I'm like, oh my, something's Barry Larkin. I'm like, oh, that's sweet. Blah 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 blah. Um, but it depends where you are. Yeah. And um, you were the much more highly recruited player, I think. Um, when did you commit? And so I think he verbal to Cincinnati. And what mm -hmm. do you recall from that? Were you working on him? Had it all. Um, so I was just very supportive of Jamie's decision uh, when I committed to Northwestern. Um, and, you know, he was getting recruited more. Um, I always was just with him. I was like, hey, if you want to take a visit, I'll come with you. Um, and then when he verbaled to UC, I was happy for him. Um, I was, it was definitely a congratulations. I'm happy for you. Um, and if you, like, change your mind, I mean, Northwestern's here. I'm here. So it was just definitely just being super supportive of him um, wherever he went because we'd be best friends wherever you go, wherever you went. Do you deserve any credit? Uh, nah. Uh, he, made, he made his choice. Um, for both of you, but especially Blake, um, Stephen Jones and Duke obviously love to excel in that run pass option. What is the strategy for defending an RPO versus just a regular read option? Um, just do your job. Yeah, just do your job, make the reads you're supposed to make, and, and react. when If it's run, react. If it's pass, react. Yeah. Uh, similar kind of question. It's a it's a mobile quarterback. I know Blake, you haven't you, you didn't start last year, but yeah. last year one of the biggest struggles for this defense was against mobile quarterbacks getting the edge, getting outside. How do you, as an outside as 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 an outside backer, try to stop that quarterback from getting getting to the outside? Um, I think kind of starts starts up front, uh, trying to you know keep him keep him bottled up in the pocket, making sure it's it's contained, and then when he does leak out, you just gotta see it, read it, and then. Just try to go get them, but these guys do a great job. They're going to do a great job keeping them in the pocket, so we're just going to play off them. After uh, yeah, this is for both of you, after watching film last week, um, what did you think of your defense's performance overall? And what, what's the one thing you know everybody looks at big improvement from week one to week two? What are the things you think you need to get better at as a defense? Um, I'd say again, harping on that consistency. Um, you know, you guys. You guys, well, excuse me. We have guys like Blake, Patty, Nate, myself, guys, Sam Dupe, you know, um, Alex Miller. <laughs> and, you know, we're all good players, but it doesn't matter if we're not consistent. And, you know, there's some plays where we'll flash, but it's about doing it over and over and over and over again, so. Yeah, just, just to echo what Jordan said, I mean, consistency is key uh, throughout the game, maintaining, uh, making sure everyone's doing their job every play and uh, just playing playing off each other. And consistency, yeah, consistency is key. Last week you guys uh, made a pretty good adjustment in the second half as a unit to defending Rondale Moore after he had a real explosive first half. 
what did you guys learn from going against a, an electric playmaker like that? And what are some of the lessons you think from facing an opponent like that you can take into this week? Um, I definitely see um, how mobile the quarterback was last week to this week. Um, so, you know, just keeping them in front of you, using your hands, things like that um, can definitely be applied from last week to this week. So, Yeah, I think when you play uh, guys like like a guy like Daniel Johnson and then uh, Rondell Moore, I think you just got to go attack them. Uh, just we preach go eat, so just go eat. Don't hesitate when he breaks down. Just try to try to run through him, run your feet. Um, it's pretty chill. You know, wake up, yeah. go to football, eat, do some more football, take sleep, <laughs> take, take a nap, <laughs> take a nap. Um, do more football. Yeah, just eat. Yeah, it's a it's a good time. Uh, with having little people on campus, guys on the team just hang out a lot. Um, it's a great time to, you know, build that brotherhood. Sure. And, uh, yeah, it's chill, especially when school starts. It's, yeah, it's a lot. Um, and one other remarkable question. So how did you find out that then he had flipped that he was going to go here? And mm -hmm. celebrate? Like, how did you learn? Um, to be honest, I couldn't even remember. Uh, maybe my mom told me or something. Um, and I was like, oh, that's cool. And then I saw him, and I was like, what's up, man? It, it was nothing too crazy. Um, but I definitely was happy for him. Um, it was a good time. What's his personality? Is he very low-key? Um, he's very goofy. Oh. Yeah. Um, but it depends. To me, he's super, super goofy. Like, yeah. We have, like, inside jokes from high school that we just – just tell each other, um, but like, there's definitely a time and place with his personality. Um, he knows when to be serious and when it's time to goof off and stuff, so. We have time for one more question for these two, if anyone has it. This is for Blake. Uh, first year starting, uh, this defense doesn't have a ton of first year starters. Uh, what do you think you bring to this defense? What do you think that's the, what is the number one attribute that you bring to this defense that maybe they didn't necessarily have as much of last year? Um, I don't know if it's something they didn't have last year because the defense was the number one run defense in, in the Big Ten last year, so we had everything you know we needed. Um, but what I do is I just I just come in and try to try to work hard, play as hard as I can every play, and and uh, just try to keep building the trust of the older guys around me uh, that they tr they trust me that I'm going to do what I'm going to do, and uh, yeah, just try to fly around and do my job, make plays. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.